<laughs> okay. Hi, ferret friends. Hopefully, y'all can hear me over that fan. Because it is towards the middle of summer. So, it is quite hot. But anyways, it's been a while since I've done a little a vlog. So, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity since we got new new members of the family. Uh. <clears throat> okay, I'll try to make this quick because <clears throat> my phone has a limited storage. So, every time I go to edit a vlog, I can't uh, save it, which means I can't upload it. So there's a lot, I have quite a few vlogs in the vault that have yet to be released. But anyways, so, um, if you don't know, currently I have three ferrets. Well, I did. And then I was like, I could use one or two more, you know? So I got a hold, I tried looking on Craigslist, you know? It almost worked out, and then it didn't. So, I finally got a hold of the rescue in my state. And she had a little a little girl and a little boy. Okay, he's four, apparently. But he's still a little baby boy. Um, I gotta show her. You're just a little peanut. Well, no, actually, you're not. My other ferret is a little peanut, and you are slightly bigger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she's quite big for a girl ferret. You know, she's, I love her coat. She's like, kind of blonde. On camera, she kind of looks darker, but in real life, she's quite blonde. Yeah, she's a little biter. She's a little biter. You're a cutie. Yeah. She doesn't bite hard though, and it's not in a negative way, like my other boy I got from the rescue. His name's Louie. Every once in a while, he'll have like a PTSD response, and he will uh, bite pretty hard. But he hasn't done that to me in quite a while, so I think we're all good there. But anyways, yeah, that's not a good angle. Okay, let's try up here. Nope, okay. Just gonna balance it on the Pokemon games, but okay. Oh, God, okay. Okay, so basically, the boy, um, okay, their names at the rescue. I haven't figured out their names yet, but at the rescue, the girl was put in, and the boy is Whiskey. Oh my God, this is so shaky. Ignore it. Okay. Um, the girl, she's apparently two and a half years old. I don't know, I checked their teeth. The boy is apparently four, but his teeth look very young, if that makes sense. If you know ferrets, you understand. Um, especially being on a kibble mm -hmm. diet, uh, his teeth are very younger looking like they're not like super gunky like there's one area where it's clearly like dark like black not black dark brownish you know bad teeth going on there but like it's not like it's only that one part of his teeth the rest of them aren't even translucent at all so he just he seems very young and also, he doesn't look as old as my other two. One of mine, I know for a fact, is four and a half. And you can you can tell he's getting older. Um, he doesn't look as young. But this guy, he's whiskey. He's pretty... He looks so young and fluffy. He's so fluffy. They also gave him um, a melatonin implant. Uh, she said he doesn't have any signs of adrenal, but since he is four years old, they just 
at the previous rescue that's in Georgia, which is not anywhere close to here, but that's the rescue they came from. Um, they gave him the implant, just in case, because, you know, he's old, apparently. But uh, he's very, very shy. They think he was dropped as a kid, or they came from a home where there was young children, because uh, he, when you pick him up, he's very clingy, like not, mm, it's kind of like, ah, oh, don't drop me type of clingy, you know? Um, oh my gosh, you're so cute. She's just on her back chilling. She's so cute. Okay, I think she moved. <laughs> um, yeah, so good news though. Um, well, okay, every time I try to give them some raw food, uh, they, they're like, mm, okay, no, not really, but, but she did eat quite a bit of the kibble I mixed with the raw, the very raw, the, hold on, the very watery raw duck. <laughs> I was like, kind of hard to say. Are you are just a little cutie. Ugh, okay. I'm also keeping them in this room for the meantime, because, like, I'm not gonna lie. Last time I adopted from the rescue, I thought that she kept them quarantined, and she didn't. Um, so I kind of tried to immediately integrate them into my group and my boy at the time died. He had other problems. He was very obese, uh, almost six pounds. That was on me. Um, he had heart problems, and then he met the, the ones from the rescue, and he got crazy diarrhea, stopped eating, and slowly over a month, you know? So I don't know what sickness he got from that, but I don't want a repeat of that. My, my other ferrets, they seem like super healthy right now. Um, fingers crossed, nothing is going on. They, they seem really good, but yeah. So I'm gonna keep them in here slowly, introduce them to a raw diet. He's sleeping in there. I really don't wanna wake him up. I guess I'll do a little other video at some point, like showing him, but cause he, he's more chill, likes to sleep because he is older. She's apparently two and a half. <laughs> you are so cute. But, I know, she's just so cute. You're a goober. And you wanna say goodbye? Are we done? Hey, no, you can't bite the phone. Are you gonna hit end? You can hit end. Stop recording. You're almost here. Okay. Well, I'll hit stop. Cause it's already eight minutes, so. Aww. Yeah, you wanna say goodbye? Okay. I probably forgot to say a lot of things, but. That's basically what's going on right now. So, hope you guys like seeing my new little beans. Peace out, ferret friends. See you next time.